Hey guys, today we're at Flint Creek Water Park here in Wiggins. I thought we'd do a little tour, a little drive-through tour of the camping area. Right now we're at the swimming area. Georgia and I are going to eat our lunch. We got some, what do we get? Arby's. We got Arby's. And then um, we're going to do, uh, just drive around and let y'all see Flint Creek Water Park that we have here in Wiggins. And this is the swimming area of Flint Creek. As soon as I get out here, it's still a lot of standing water from the tropical storm Claudette we just had. But yeah, I'm gonna, oof, it's wet. Okay, I'm in my dress, so I look a little awkward out here on the beach. But this is the swimming area of Flint Creek, and I'm not sure what this is about. I think they're gonna have a um, fireworks thing for 4th of July coming up so it's probably what that is but this is the swimming area and it goes stretches all the way down there as well as you can see there's a few people out here today let's walk out here to the water so y'all can see it the, the beach just kind of Dirty. You can see people out on their boats tubing. It's a nice day for it. It doesn't start raining. But there's the water. And if you look over this way, you probably can't see, but there's a water park, actual water park with slides and um, pools and things, and we'll We'll go look at that in a little bit, but I just wanted y'all to see the swimming area. All right, I think I'm gonna head back to the car and um, then we'll drive around and get a different view of the lake and the water park with the slides. Also, yeah, there's no lifeguard here, so swim at your own risk and I almost forgot um here in the swimming area there are picnic tables with trash cans now I know when I was a kid they used to have um grills at every picnic table 
but I guess they got rid of those. I used to come out here a lot as a kid with my family for pretty much every summer holiday. Our whole extended family. We'd come and set up a big screened in tent and just stay out here all day swimming and eating and just hanging out with family and just enjoying the day. This uh, water park gets pretty popular, especially here during the summer and holidays. Fourth of July is usually pretty big and that's coming up. But um, <clears throat> we we don't come out here too much anymore because it does it does get a little overcrowded with people. And as you see, the beach isn't um, the cleanest anymore. Let's go check out the rest of the park. Okay, we're going to check out one of the lodges they have here that you can rent uh, for any kind of event that you're having. We have rented this one in particular for a family reunion some years ago. There's a, I guess that's a bathhouse, bathroom there. Is that a bathroom? Is that men's or women? I wonder. Men. Okay, so there's the men's. I'm not going to go in there, but... Let's head into the women's and see what it looks like. And this is right next to the Lakeview Lodge. Okay, this is the women's. Mm, I'm just going to let y'all look. I'm not going to go all the way in. Mm. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> okay, somebody emptied their charcoal there. Y'all can probably see the water park a little bit better there. It's not open, I'm surprised. I guess they're only opening on the weekends. Let's walk down this way. There's like a little porch thing you can hang out on. A little ceiling fan. Let's walk down this way so that Mike can see in, into the lodge a little bit better. It's a pretty big room. I think they come with like a little kitchen area, if I remember correctly. We've got chairs, tables. Can y'all see in there? Mm. It's like a little thing. All right. So that is, oh, and there's another little porch thing on the other end of this. car. I left my car running. We have the cats with us. Oh, someone has a grill out there. And there is Watertown, USA. Well, yeah, I think it's still called Watertown, USA. The dirtiest place ever. <laughs> Georgia says it's dirty. So what they do is, instead of using chlorinated water, they pump in water from the lake okay and the lake isn't exactly you know it doesn't have the prettiest water it's definitely like brown in color but as you can see they have slides and there's a big pool at the bottom of the slides that all the slides go into. It's like one giant pool. And they had a lazy river. Georgia tells me they don't have it anymore, but I don't know. I haven't been in there in a long time. Let's walk down here closer to the edge. Maybe we won't find any snakes. Someone left their grill out here, I see. And a lot of people fish in this area because it's quieter away from the boats. I remember spending many a days out here when I was in high school. Because there's not really a lot to do here in Wiggins. So as you imagine, water sports are pretty popular here. Jet skis, fishing, boating, tubing, that sort of thing.
Okay, I'm going to walk back over here to the car. George is already in there. We actually brought our cats with us, Egypt and Voodoo, so I have to make sure they don't get too hot. <clears throat> I'm going to head back to the car, and then we're going to take a little drive. And we'll probably drive up to Watertown, see if I can get a little view of it through the fence. And then we'll head towards the camping area and let y'all see that. Alright, I think I'm going to walk down here to this fishing pier. It, um, a little treacherous getting down here. It's probably a better way to get down here, but, yeah, it'll be alright. Hopefully this pier is stable. And it doesn't cave in with me. <laughs> Especially since I can't swim. Fun fact, a little tidbit. But y'all don't know. It's funny though, even though I can't swim, I've been whitewater rafting, which is a blast by the way. If you ever get a chance to do it, definitely do it. So looks like it's a fishing pier. And we'll walk out here. It's very peaceful. Okay, the pier's not too bad. I've heard there's good fishing here, but I don't know. I've never caught anything. Oh, something just jumped over there. Also, my grandparents owned a bait and tackle shop here, and they would also rent out boats. And yeah, they owned a shop here in the water park a long time ago. It's probably in the 60s. My mom used to come out and work after school. Uh, I really need to do some more upkeep on this pier. Kind of nervous about walking out there, but you see, it's very pretty. This would be a really good place to kayak, I think. And you can also see there's more cabins over there. And that boat over there, they're probably staying at one of the cabins. You can just see Watertown over there. And I think this right here is another cabin here in the fishing area. We'll go back over here. All right, I'll head back to the car and we'll ride on to the campground.
I do know you can have your pets here in the campground area where you're camping. You just can't have them at the cabin. Okay, as you can see, a lot of people just kind of hang out here. Some people have fences. Um, they, they pretty much just live here, which is kind of, it's kind of nice though. If you look at it, you know, this is what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I want to get a camper. I just want to go. We'll go all the way down and come around. I want to get one of those screen tents for camping for us. Oh, there's people over here having themselves. I like how shaded the um, the camping spots are through this one. It's really nice. Well, you know they live there. Look at all that stuff. Now these are the ones to be at, right down here, the water view ones, like you, these people live here too, look at all the plants they got hanging, and over here, they have like a little pier you can fish off of, there's no swimming in this area, although people do swim sometimes, there's a bathhouse over here to the left, the plants and everything, you can always tell the people, look, they have stack of firewood there. I'm just going to keep her through here. Look, they've got themselves a little thing built up. Alright, this actually is new. They haven't had this before, but this is a new swim area. They've they have a little swing set. Look at this little RV. It is the cutest thing. I want that one. That's what I need. That's nice. We've got the jet skis. for 4th of July. This one looks like it's just being stored there. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look, it's a deer. It's a doe. Oh, look how beautiful. Look, she's, it's a baby. It's so little. Can you see it? Mm. Look how cute. newest campground we have as you can see the road is not even paved so we're just gonna ride around there's not really anybody in here oh that's a nice little wooded area i like that that was nice too i like that they have like the trees like there's lots of trees and bushes between these oh this road when like when we first came in on this loop those were the nicest ones because they were like kind of hidden you know like these are just like out there a little loop this is the smallest loop i think it is the newest one because and this one as well this one's further as well over there. Not even 
Country people love to stay. You know, it's kind of decent. Hey guys, we're back from Flint Creek just in time for it to start raining. So, time that just right. But, and also, I want to give a big shout out to Georgia uh, for being my camera woman today while I was driving and helping me out with that. She's a huge help in my videos. She sometimes does videoing and um, taking pictures and things for me. But <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the tour of Flint Creek. Maybe we talked about maybe going and trying to grab a cabin for a night there at Flint Creek. So maybe we can do a tour of that for you guys. But as you can see, it's not too bad of a place to camp. Now the first loop that we went to, it looks like most of those people are there all the time. But the other two, three um, loops weren't too bad. It's a nice uh, camp spots there, nice spots to camp. And I will say, however, the the bathhouses probably need a little work. So if you're going to camp there, definitely keep that in mind. And but yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed the tour, and I will see y'all later.